In this video, we're going to try and draw the curve for these parametric equations from 0 to 2 pi. So, uh, so the normal routine is for us to, to somehow turn this into an algebraic equation involving just x and y, and then hopefully we would recognize it. So, so if we get something like y equals x squared, then, then we would know what it looks like. So our, our normal routine would be to translate this into an algebraic equation involving just x and y. So the, uh, the trick that we're going to use is this. The trick that we're going to use is this. Um, so, so remember, we are trying to turn this in, into an algebraic equation involving just x and y uh, from 0 to 2 pi. So, uh, so if you look at this here, we've got sine 2t. Well, we need to break up the product of the two. So, uh, so we would use this identity. So, um, so if, if you have uh, two times an angle, then, then you can break it up as this. Well, use this and break this up into this okay and then uh, and then if you look at this here so here you've got you've got a two times uh, times this block times this block here well uh, this is sine t this here is sine t so we can put this we can put the x into here so that becomes 2x cos of t now um, now divide both sides by 2 2x that will then give you this and then now we've got everything we need we would then use this. So, uh, so if if you look at this, square both sides. That will then give you this, and then we can put this into the uh, into the sine squared, and then uh, looking at cos squared. Well, you can square everything here, so that will be this for x squared. So we can then put this into here. So that then this whole thing here will then become this. This is our, the basis of our equation here. So now times everything by by 4x squared, then that will then give you this. That will then give you this. So here you've got one block equals this block plus this block. Well, take away this block from, from both sides. That will then give you this. So now now we're here. Um, we we would then hope that we would recognize this, but here we don't. We we have no idea what what this looks like. But we can obtain some information from it. You see, x this here is an even even. So you know it's going to be um, it's going to be symmetrical along the uh, along the uh, along the y-axis. Because if if you put if you put neg if you put two into here, and if you put negative two into here, it, everything will be the same. It's, it will be symmetrical along the along the y-axis. And then if you look at this, this is. Um, even as well, so you know it's going to be symmetrical uh, along the along the x-axis. Because if you put if you put let's say po positive one into here, that's the same as you putting negative one into it. It will be symmetrical. So so from this we can tell that it's symmetrical along the uh, along the the y-axis and along the x-axis. So what that means is that if you um, if you have a graph. Uh, if you have a graph, I don't know what. It, let, let's just say it looks something like that. It's going to be symmetrical. It's, it's going to be symmetrical along the uh, the x-axis. So you know it's going to be something like this. And then you, you also know it's symmetrical along the y-axis. So uh, so looking at this, you can you can flip it like this. And then and then to get the last quadrant, we we can either flip this or we can flip this. Well here here we can tell that it's symmetrical along the y and along the x-axis. But then that's that's pretty much all all that we know about it. So we we would then revert back to this. Hang on. We we would then try and trace this path out. But let's because we know um, we we know it's, it's symmetrical. We know that if we can work out one quadrant, then we immediately have this this quadrant. We will immediately have this quadrant. And then if if we want to work this one out, the point that I'm trying to say here is that let's just work out for the first quadrant. Let, instead of working out the, for the whole uh, zero to two pi, let's just work out from from zero to um, to um, to pi over two, and then uh, zero from zero from time equals zero to uh, to pi over two. That will then give us the the first quadrant, and then from that, then we can we can flip it, and then we can flip it, and then we can draw the whole thing. Okay, so so let's let's try and trace the path here. Uh, for for t being from zero to pi over two instead of two pi here. Well, 
uh, so look, look this up on the internet. Search for common val font, common trig values, and then and then you should get an image like this, similar to this. And then you've got some more over here and so on. These are the common values for 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 common angles. So uh, so when 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 you have an angle of um, of pi over six, to the the sine sine pi over six will be a half. Sine pi over four would be this. And sine this would be this. Basically, uh, you start out with one square root of one, uh, two square root of three square root of four, and so on. Well, search on search on the internet for common values, common trig values. Uh, so so trace out your so so when when time we are trying to trace out this path here. When when time equals zero, when time equals zero, put zero into into here. So when time when time equals zero, x would well. If, if you put this into the axis, sine of zero will be zero. Now, when time is zero, put this into here. Get zero times two, and then zero times two that will be zero, and then sine it that will still be zero. So, so our starting point will, at time t equals zero would be right at the origin. Okay, and then and then. And then the next common value would be uh, pi over six. So if so, if you put pi over six into here, if you put so so the next time will be well, when t equals pi over six. If you put pi over six into here, so sine sine uh, sine pi over six, or well, sine pi over six would be a half. So uh, so when time equals uh, equals this uh, uh, x will be a half okay and then and then when time remember we're still on time uh, we are still on uh, time pi over six so now put this into here so now this is our time pi over six we've got a times by two so uh, so pi over six times two that will then give you this and then simplify that will then give you this. So that's the equivalent of us, of us looking at this. So anyway, sine pi over three, sine pi over three is this thing here, root three over two. So uh, so the y value will be root three over two, and so on. And then that will then give you this whole table here. So from the table here, we can trace out the path. So hang on. So when when time when time equals zero. X would be zero, Y would be zero. So, so our starting point would be right at the origin. So let let's say this is one, one, negative one, negative one. So when time, so the next uh, the next step in time would be this. Um, so that that would be X, uh, X being a half, Y being uh, Y being root root three over two. Well, root three over two. Well, root four over two. Uh, that's that's one. So this is going to be uh, this is going to be slightly less than one, slightly less than one. So so let's just guess. Hang on. So so when time equals uh, pi over six, x is a half. Um, y would be slightly more than a half. So x is a half. Y will be slightly more than a half. So somewhere around here. Now the next increment in time would be this uh, pi over four. Well that would be uh, Root two, uh, root two over two. So that's th this is um, root two. Now root two is bigger than one. Root two is bigger than one. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be slightly bigger than a half. So uh, so x will be slightly bigger than a half. Y will be one. So x would be slightly bigger than a half. I don't know. I'm just going to guess here. Y will be one. So it's going to be around here. And then the next step in time would be this. Um, x would be uh, root three over over two, so that that would be slightly more than a half. So x x would be slightly more than a half. Um, y would be slightly more than a half. Have a guess. I don't know. Probably around here somewhere. Um, and then and then and then and then the last one, pi over two, would be when x is one, y is zero. X one x1 y0 so it's going to do something like this okay so 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 you know it's going to move in this direction 
So the next step, um, well, we, we, we can't really flip it this way here because um, because uh, this this because we're, we're moving in this path here, and then it's not just going to jump over here. So we've got to follow the natural path. The natural path would be to go down here. So hang on. So we've got this at, at the moment, something like this. So so now we we know it's symmetrical along the uh, along the x-axis. So we, we we can just do something like this. And then, uh, and then, and then from from this, um, for, we we know it's going to be symmetrical uh, along the along the y-axis. So use this quadrant here, and flip it across. So that will then give us something like this. Okay. And then, and then for the last quadrant, so so you know the the, the path is it's going to move like this. It's going to move like this. And then, and then the last one, uh, use this one, or you can flip this one. Let's let's just use this one. It's going to be something like this. So, so your path will be like this. Okay. So, so if you uh, get a graph plotter, it should give you this. Okay.